All right, in this video, I'm gonna be talking about bolt stretch and get some bolt stretch uh, measurements on these rods, and as well as take some measurements after they're torqued down uh, to see what the clearance is gonna be on our rod bearings. Okay, the first thing I wanna talk about is bolt stretch. Uh, any fastener, when you, torque, when you tighten it down, uh, it's gonna stretch, and that stretching is what causes uh, the clamping force. Um, and so one of the things that you can do when you're assembling an engine is measure uh, the, the stretch, the bolt stretch on the rods. These are ARP 2000 bolts. Okay, so if we take a look at our directions from Manly Performance, it has our, uh, the recommended bolt stretch for most of their bolts that they have. So we're going to be putting in uh, our 3 8 bolt diameter, ARP 2000, with an underhead length of 1.500. They recommend 60 foot pounds uh, with a bolt stretch of 0 0.0058 to 0 0.0062 uh, and that should fall between 55 and 65 foot pounds. Most of the time uh, when, I, when I install these it's closer to 65 and I'll show you why. First I'm going to go ahead and remove one of these bolts. To measure the bolt I have this ARP a uh, bolt stretch gauge, part number 100-9942. So on this rod bolt, it's got a dimple on the top and a dimple on the bottom. And what you're gonna do is you put it in here and that is going to measure the bolt at its, at its resting point. And then as, when you torque it down, the bolt's gonna stretch out and then it's gonna tell you how far it's stretching out. Each time you go through the torque sequence of these bolts, or really any fastener uh, from ARP, and they have more information on, the, on this on their website, but anytime you go through and you torque all of these bolts, uh, it takes the, it gets a little bit more stretch when you torque it down. It should always return to its original size if you were to measure these. But the graph that I've seen on ARP's website, it says about three torque sequences is gonna give this the maximum clamping load uh, that it possibly can. And so uh, if we were to torque this to 60, uh, we might get uh, 0.056. And then if we loosen it back up and then torque it again, we might get 0.0058. And if we loosen it up and tighten it again, we might get 0 0.0060. So each time we torque it to that same torque spec, it will stretch a little bit more and have a little bit more clamping force. Because remember that stretch is what causes the clamping force. Uh, and again, you can look at that. It, it should be on ARP's website. If not, you should be able to search it up and, and, and see it. So this is gonna be the first time, I'm gonna go through the first time and I'm gonna uh, torque these down. And then when we put it in the engine uh, to check for clearances, that's gonna be the second time. And then when we do final assembly, that's gonna be third time. So it's gonna be three torque sequences. You can do multiple torque sequences when you're tightening down uh, the head bolts, the ARP head bolts or ARP head studs. So you would just go through the whole sequence, uh, torque everything down, then loosen everything up, and then torque everything down, and then loosen everything up. Uh, some engine builders will do that on, on final assembly. They'll do the torque sequence three times. So the first rod, I'm gonna go ahead and mark it. I'm gonna mark it on the side that has the uh, serial number. That's just the side that I prefer uh, to mark my rods. Okay, so now I'm gonna install my rod in my rod vise, and I'm gonna get it to where the, uh, the big end is, is pretty much centered over the top of the rod vise, and then snug this down. And now we'll go ahead and take these loose. Now I'm gonna take some of their uh, uh, bolt lube from ARP, and put that on the threads. and under the head of the bolt. Okay, so I got them lubed up now. I'm just gonna run them, run them down, uh, just snug them down. And I will tell you that putting this lube on these uh, fasteners does make a difference. I've measured the bolt stretch with lube and without lube, and it definitely does make a difference. You'll get more stretch from your fasteners if you lube them properly than if you do not lube them. Okay, these are run down. They're still loose in there. And I'm going to pull it out so I have room to get some measurements. 
Now I'm going to take the ARP gauge and put it in those dimples just like I showed you before. I had it out and move it around and now zero this gauge out. Now we can put the rod in there, center it again because we're going to torque these to 60 foot pounds. And I'm going to do this in two stages. I'm going to do 20, 20, then 40, then 40, then 60, then 60, and then we'll remeasure and see what we got. Now we'll move this rod back to so get a measurement. Put our ARP gauge on there. If we look at our gauge, it shows a little over 5 thousandths. If we take this to 65 foot-pounds, it should put us right where we need to be as far as the bolt stretch. Okay, on that torque sequence, I took it up to 65 foot-pounds and got about 55 ten thousandths or 5 and a half thousandths. And the recommended is 58 uh, ten thousandths to 62 ten thousandths or six thousandths. So on the third torque sequence, uh, it should put us uh, right at where we want to be at, which is 58 ten thousandths. Uh, again, this has um, at least two more torque sequences before it's done. And so 65 foot pounds is where I'm going to put it. Doesn't recommend going any higher than that. So if you're installing these uh, rods on uh, with ARP 2000 bolts, I can tell you that 65 foot pounds is a good number uh, and you can see the stretch on the gauge to go along with it. Okay, so now I'll go ahead and do all eight of them. I'll mark all eight of them, uh, lube them up with the, with the ARP lube, torque them all to 65, and then go get some measurements. Okay, so I have my two inch micrometer set up for a reference. I'm gonna zero out. I have my dial bore gauge zeroed out. So when we hit this, it's on zero. And we'll get some measurements of our rod bearings. Okay, now I'll take my dial bore gauge and get some measurements inside the rod. So the inner diameter of our rod bearings is 2.0014 minus the outer diameter of our uh, journal on our crankshaft gives us exactly two thousandths of clearance. So that's right on the money as far as a two inch journal. We want two thousandths clearance. Now we've got the rods assembled and measured. Uh, next up is going to be to attach the pistons, put them in the uh, block and check for any clearance. There is gonna be some clearance issues because these are stroker rods.